Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1 and today we are going to look at some good level geometry nodes projects. If you want to get inspired and uh, your mind blown away, take a look at what these artists are doing with geometry nodes. Number one, we have this fully procedural bird simulator. Have you ever thought of generating birds completely with geometry nodes? All procedural and customizable to make any kind of bird. That is what Metinen Jess is doing. He's one of the most active geometry nodes artists and he has created a lot of demonstrations from fluid simulations, destructions and more. At number two, we have uh, these amazing impact simulations. Geometry Nodes has attracted a lot of creative technical artists to Blender. I swear, before Geometry Nodes, demos like this were hard to find. And yet now, every day we get a Blender demo that shows a completely different way to making things. Like this lava and impact explosion without any smoke or fluid simulations, just simulation nodes. Speaking of unconventional workflows, Zeofleos shows how you can create the Blender Guru Donut by just doing everything manually. He's not playing tricks on you by using a particle system or fancy shaders. He's doing everything like you would in your kitchen. He adds the icing directly and sprinkles the sprinkles directly on the donut using a shaker. No more faking anything. Number four, we have cell fluids. You have to love these new fluid solvers. They are real time and just look amazing. To get the same results using MantaFlow, you need to let your PC simulate overnight, if it's even able to handle uh, the simulation. But here, Hazard takes on real-time fluid simulation using geometry nodes and he managed to pack this into an add-on that you can get for yourself on Blender Market. All links are in the description. It includes the materials, the simulation, and the implementation is quite simple. Just have the fluid inflow and then the bounding box to contain your simulation and everything is set for you. Number five, we have vertex displacement. If you're not impressed by the fluid simulation, let's try this. This is not a particle system. The grass you see on the screen is all displacement in EV. EV is evolving into a whole new engine capable of mesh lighting, global illumination, ray tracing, and vertex displacement. So this is what Shazod is using to create this. Previously, shader displacement was only supported in cycles, but now it is ready for EV in the new version of EV, EV Next. Number six, Ocean Waves. Celestial Maze gives us another demonstration of the power of EV Next by showing us these amazing ocean waves. Number seven, the strength of geometry nodes is the ability to add a lot of detail that would otherwise not be added simply because it would take too much work to do. Pavel Oliver shows off his geometry nodes skills again. Oh yes, this is not his first time to blow our minds on the channel. He also made this free Buildify generator and other stuff that you can get on his Gumroad page. Links are in the description. If you're creating a shop, and you want to stock it with products, this supermarket generator can create the detail you need with just a few extrusions. It has all different types of products that you might find in a supermarket and all sorts of merchandise so that your shops or supermarkets don't look empty. If you want some satisfying simulations, look at these cup tracers by Higgis. He's also the creator of this brain simulation. Just amazing. Things like this were completely impossible to do before Geometry Nodes and now these artists make it seem like a walk in a park. They also made this Geometry Deformer pack which is very popular on the Blender market. At number 10 we have this laser impact. It's not surprising that most of the Geometry Nodes demos you will see on the internet are made by the same group of artists. For example, Castasian Caramel made this laser impact seam and also this spider web simulation. He also made this nanomorph animation that looks like the Iron Man suit transition. He didn't stop at just that. He also created spiders that are procedurally rigged and animated using geometry nodes. Sinterell is also another geometry nodes artist and he made this amazing erosion simulation. It turns any terrain into a realistic eroded terrain using simulation nodes. 
Another Geometry Nodes artist I like to follow is Shazod and here is his version of a procedurally animated spiders and uh, also made this bug simulation that responds to light. When you shine light anywhere, they move away and hide in dark areas. Thank you for watching. Those were some amazing Geometry Nodes projects that I think can be inspiring to anyone who wants to get into Geometry Nodes. If you have time to learn more Blender, here are some of my previous tutorials I made for your viewing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.